Now let us move on to another program that I've written for you that is verb.l. Okay. Now here in this program, you can see that in this first section, I have not written anything. I don't want any statements to be copy pasted or moved to the .c file that uh, that will be created. Okay, so I've not written anything. So this is empty. Fine. Now here you can see there are three patterns that I have given here. Fine. So these are the three patterns that I have written here. Fine. Now. Let us look at the first pattern. So in square bracket, I have, uh, you know, explained this in the class that whenever you write anything in square bracket, if I write suppose ABC, then uh, that acts as A or B or C. Yes, if I write A hyphen Z, then it, it means A to Z. Fine. So, uh, here in this square bracket, I have written slash T for tab and then after slash T we have a space. That means if in the input, uh, when it, it is reading the input, if it encounters a tab or if it encounters a space, then I have just given semicolon that I, I don't have to do anything for that. Okay. Just. It scans. Now, why I have given you a semicolon? I would have not given this altogether. Why I am giving this pattern? Okay. Why I am giving? Because if I won't give this pattern here, it will not match uh, tab and space and it will be printed on the console. Okay. And I don't want that things uh, to be printed. So, whatever is not matched, I don't want those things to be printed on the console and so for that I have given this pattern that match the tab and the space and don't do anything fine now your plus I hope you understand what is plus plus means one or more fine now since I want to match these exact strings that is is am are were and was I have given them like as it is like a word like is then this is a pipe indicating or okay am or are or were or was okay if these uh, strings are matched then what we need to do we need to print percent s is a verb okay and here you can see there is a variable that I have used which is yy text. Now, this is also an inbuilt, uh, what you can say, variable, which basically holds the lexim. Okay. So, it holds the lexim. So, the pattern, when this pattern is, any pattern is matched, that lexim is in this yy text. So, we want to print that. Fine. So, suppose if is, am, are, where, was, anything will match. So, it will print that. Suppose is, is a verb. Fine. <coughs> then, uh, again, apart from these words, if I want to match something. Yes. So, if I want to match uh, other characters, then I have given this in the square bracket. That is small a to z or capital A to Z. If anything, if any other characters appear, then I want to print that that particular, uh, what you can say, the string is not a verb, fine. And then here you can see I have defined this empty uh, yy wrap function and in main we are calling this yy lex in return zero, fine. So now let us execute this code. So for that, I need to again write flex space the name of the program that is verb dot l and it will generate lex dot yy dot c file fine now i need to compile that file that is lex dot yy dot c that file is compiled and then for execution i'll press a now again it is asking me for giving input so if i say i again i'll give the same statement suppose i am at 
triple i t n and enter then you can see that it is uh, showing this at is not a verb and this triple i t n is uh, also not a word and for am it is a printing that is a verb fine fine so this you can see the output i hope this output is clear so this time you can see uh, that nothing is there anything which is uh, printed on the console apart from these words can you see anything can you observe the output and uh, please uh, let me know that is something that you have observed yes see what happened is that i have given a pattern for matching this characters okay so this is this pattern will match i at triple itn okay and it will print this statement that is i not is not a verb at is not a verb and triple itn is not a verb fine i have also written a pattern for matching the space okay and that is why the space that is given here is not printed okay but i have given here full stop and for this full stop i have not given any pattern that means this full stop is not matched with any pattern and that is why it is printing the full stop as it is now let us move on to another program that i have written for you that is verb.l okay so if i say a b c at the rate and dot and am it will give me probably c the same output that abc is not a verb and this at the rate full stop is printed as it is because it is not not matched with any pattern and then it is since i have given only am so it is matching this am with this verb now last time what happened is that it will match this character by character and it will uh, give uh, the what you can say output as am is a verb i is not a verb was is verb but you know since this is uh, what you can say without spaces you have given this as one string then it is matching this entire lexem now what why this happened can anyone tell me okay see what happens is whenever more than one pattern match whenever more than one pattern match matches a particular lexem then it will consider the longest match recall that i have taught in the class that suppose i had taken this example that if ha if uh, we have then and i have a word suppose then next okay now if this then is a keyword right this is a keyword so or if i have a pattern that matches this then okay but now in my program i have declared this then next as a variable so obviously the lexical analyzer should not consider only this then as a uh, one token okay which might be a keyword i want that lexical analyzer should uh, consider this entire word that is then next okay so for that what is the rule the rule there are two rules for that okay i am again repeating this i have already explained this in the theory class that whenever there are more than one patterns that are matching it always considers the longest match fine so in this case what happened is this am i was were this is the longest match which is matched here fine but here you can see when it had read this pattern when it was reading this uh, characters you can say it had match only am okay but this was the pattern which matches this longest uh, string you can say and that is why it has consider the longest match and for that it has printed this not a verb fine and it has not matched this am now there is one more uh, what you can say important thing that we sh you should know that this was uh, the first important point that it it will consider the longest match okay the uh, second is that you know you should maintain this order 
like suppose if there is an exact match with the two patterns okay if there is an exact match then what will happen it will consider the pattern which you have written first so there are two important points i'll just repeat that if there are two patterns that exactly match then the sequence matters okay so the first match is considered but when uh, there are more than one patterns that are matched but not exactly then it will consider the pattern which matches the longest lexeme fine so this was this program now let us uh, look at another program which counts uh, the word so these this is the program so you can see in this first uh, section i have written this hash include uh, libraries here uh, and then i want a variable because i want to count the number of words so i need a variable so that is why i have declared this variable which will be copied to the dot c file okay so int i is equal to 0 semicolon these three statements will be copied to the lex.yy.c file that will be generated fine now what i am saying is that whenever there is a word that is a to z or capital a to z or 0 to 9 okay so i am considering that if there are any uh, you know numbers also between 0 to 9 it should consider it as a word fine so if there uh, if there if this pattern matches then i am incrementing that counter fine if i have a slash n okay if i have a slash n then what i am doing i want to print the count of the words and i am again initializing this i is equal to zero so basically what we are doing is we are counting the words in one line one line not in the entire program fine so as soon as we have slash n we reset the counter to zero fine and we print the count of the words that were there in that one line okay and dot for matching anything else and see here instead of semicolon i have just given empty uh, parenthesis uh, empty curly bracket this also indicates do nothing right and uh, so let let us execute this code so flex space count word dot l and we'll compile the legs dot y by dot c and a so if i give input as again i am at triple it n okay and say full stop then see it is printing four four means this number of words okay if i would have not given this dot here so kya, kya hoga? yes if i don't don't give this i'll i'll just remove this then what will happen it will print five why why it will print five no it won't print five let us Execute it once again. I am at triple IT in full stop. See what happened. Yes. Yes. What is printed? We had removed this dot from here dot means dot was for matching anything else okay so whatever is not matched here in this pattern will be matched by that dot okay so i have removed that dot then what is the difference in the output it was printing four like this okay now it is printing dot four anyone what is the reason yes 
dot was not matched yes dot was not matched okay by any pattern that is why it is printing dot but it would have printed dot here so it agar usne yahan print karna chahiye tha na like this hai na why it has printed here at the center of this sentence you can see again the output previous output that 4 is aligned to the left yes why this 4 is here any answer yes anyone uh not slash in because for slash in we have written that to print i so for slash in all only it is printing this for here we have not given any pattern to match the space yes so it is printing the space also so we have one two and three spaces which is printed here one two and three then full stop and then after full stop i have given enter so for that enter that is slash n it is printing this i yes got it so this dot will match the spaces as well yes got it not work we want like n enter so see the spaces are not displayed now fine so these were some few programs simple programs that i wanted to explain today that how you can use the, these uh, this tool next and write your code